Podcast. You are looking live at what aviators call severe clear, not a cloud in the sky as viewed by the EarthCan at the Charlottesville Albemarle Regional Airport. Throughout the next few days, there will be a few clouds on the increase, but no signs of rain clouds, at least in the short term outlook. Hello, I'm 29 First Alert Meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Some upper level smoke though in the atmosphere this morning allowed for a picturesque sunrise thanks to Jerry Eck at Lake Monticello showing us the beautiful sunrise. If you look closely right there, little deer looking over over the water as well. Keep those pictures coming. We love to see what's going on in your neighborhood. The easiest way to get us your pictures from your smart device is through the 29 first alert weather app. So if you see it, snap it and send them our way. You may see your pictures and videos right here on the weather segment in that first forecast for tonight. A nice sunset during the seven o'clock hour temperatures quickly falling from the 70s into the 60s and mostly low 50s by daybreak. Many areas like today will have at least a 30 degree rise in temperature from dawn to afternoon. So we'll start off in the 40s and 50s and end up back in the lower 80s. Just like today, lots of sunshine, blue skies and a light southeasterly breeze with a dry atmosphere. It's dry, it's comfortable. We're in the low 80s across most of the area. And over the next few hours, though, with that dry air, expect that quick drop in temperature after sunset. It's a clean sweep on the radar. There is a live view at the traffic on I-81, the Harrisonburg vicinity. All systems are go. No weather issues out here. We have high pressure dry air, and that dry air with high pressure is a big factor in our forecast looking forward to the weekend because depending on how strong this high pressure dome is, it may deflect soon to be Hurricane Francine. You can see it's, it's getting better organized now. It has a center, well-defined center and the eye developing. It's likely going to head to the northeast and strengthen into a hurricane tonight and head towards Louisiana in about 24 hours from now. So the National Hurricane Center takes it towards New Orleans and into southeastern areas of Louisiana. In fact, the worst part of a hurricane is on the run on the uh, right front quadrant that puts New Orleans in that worst case scenario. There will be damaging winds flooding across areas of Louisiana, and then it will weaken to a tropical storm and remnant low up the Mississippi Valley. That keeps our area mainly dry because of the high pressure dome, keeping most of the flooding rainfall to our southwest. We may have a couple of showers this weekend, but by far the most rain will stay well away from us until a separate storm heads our way in a week from now. It looks like next Wednesday, September the 18th, will feature our next best chance for some widespread rain. However, that is more than seven days away. Plenty of time to watch that next week forecast, right? The forecast for tonight, though, it's clear. It'll be cool with overnight lows, mostly in the low 50s by daybreak, some upper 40s in the open countryside and especially in the valley. Now, your forecast on Wednesday, sunshiny skies with day daytime highs, more typical of this time in September, mostly in the lower 80s. Now, your seven day forecast, milder temperatures overnight near 60 or so towards the end of the week, a little more humid by Thursday, Friday and this weekend, more clouds Friday and this weekend, sparse rain chances is not a washout by any means. Next best chance for widespread rain may not be until a week from tomorrow.